What's Halloween without a couple of costume clowns? Trick or treat bats. Hey everybody and welcome to another Toy Talk Review. Today we're taking a look at the first figure in DC Collectibles' new Batman the Animated Series figure line. That is the new Batman Adventures Batman. Um, this is the first release. Catwoman's out now as well, because we were a little bit behind in doing these reviews. So we'll have both a figure from the new Batman Adventures to review and from Batman Animated. This line will mix both the new Batman Adventures designs and Batman Animated designs with three figures from one wave getting one design and then the other figure getting the other design. For this first wave, the, three, the majority is new Batman Adventures and the one figure is Batman Animated. We've got new Batman Adventures Batman, Mr. Freeze, and Two-Face. And then from Batman the Animated Series, we've got Catwoman. Today we're taking a look at Batman, obviously. For all the new Batman Adventures characters, the card back features this blue um, upper background, and then we've got the three characters sort of silhouetted, silhouetted in shadow with a white outline to them where it's got Batman, Nightwing, and Robin, which is like from the um, style guide and things like that. That's a kind of a famous image related to the new Batman Adventures. The figures are all packaged in a carded figure, as a carded figure, not as a box figure, so these are sealed to the card back. The front features a sticker showing the Batman 75th anniversary logo, which I'm sure, since this is just a sticker, that they'll move away from as the waves go into 2015. Um, another sticker on the front is this Batman name. And then we've got a 01 down here that signifies Batman is the first figure of the line. We've got a new Batman Adventures on the little cardboard insert. We've got the new Batman Adventures logo in the side and on the front. We've got Batman 01 here again, DC Collectibles, the DC Comics Peel logo, your warnings and such, and the little credit that says sculpted by Irene Matar, which I don't know if I said her name right or not, but if I didn't, I apologize. The figure is all packaged inside there, inside, actually, um, I think there's an insert tray, and then he's on top of that, so we've got sort of a double bubble inside there. There's these five air holes so Batman can breathe, I guess. His cape is packaged, his extra cape is packaged behind him as well as his stand, his hands, his accessories and all that stuff. Actually the accessories are more towards the front and the hands are back there. The back of the card features a reverse of that front image on the card, where now the background is in black and the characters in blue with sort of the white outlining to signify where they're at. And then we've got DC Comics, the UPC, and then some more just gibberish down here. There's nothing on the back to show you anything about the character or anything like that. Um, it's kind of just plain on the back there. There he is all carted up on the front. And now let's get him out of there. We'll take a look at him loose. All right, and here we have Batman out of the box. There's a lot to cover on this figure, so we're going to take a look at each one of the pieces that it comes with. We'll give our opinions on everything more when we get to the couch portion of the review. This is just so you can get a good look at everything. Let's start with this base. Each of the figures in this line will come with a base, and they consist of a white panel uh, that features a turnaround of the character art, uh, front view, side view, back view of Batman, the new Batman Adventures logo, since this is from the new Batman Adventures, and a little piece of it is this Batman turnarounds. The post is clear and plugs into the base. There's a small hole indented here, and there's a flat part up top, so you can see that there's actually a flat part on this, so when you insert this, just make sure you get the flat part onto that other part. The rod is all by itself, and then you put this piece on here, which has a little hole that slides into there, and then the clip moves in and out, so you can clip it around the figure's waist, and it can go up and down depending on how high you want it to sit. I've seen some people use this to have Batman more of a jumping pose, but I, I don't know how strong it is really to support a figure for that long. Let's put that over to the side. Two capes are included. I actually have the draped over the shoulders cape on the figure right now, but it comes with this kind of swooping off to the side cape on there, made of a soft, sort of pliable, rubbery plastic. And that is switched out just by grasping the head, popping it off, and putting, it, putting on the other cape and then popping back on. It's a little tough to pop this head off, so I kind of recommend that you heat this up with some hot water or hair dryer before attempting to switch out the capes. I'm not going to pop it off here right now because it does take some force and I really don't want to mess up the figure switching it out right here. Um, so let's put this off to the side. Included are an extra six pairs of, I'm sorry, an extra seven hands, three pairs and then one extra. He comes with the fist hands already on there. Also included is a lone right hand that is gripping his grapple and the grapple actually separates so that the grapple piece kind of unplugs from there. There's no line included. 
um, but it's permanently fused into that hand. Then we've got a pair of open grip hands that are more open than the other set that we're going to look at. We've got a pair of tight grip hands which are um, meant to hold the batarang. And that just kind of slides in there real easily. And then we've got a pair of more loose open hands. They're slightly, slightly gripping, but they're more like a loose, relaxed hand. And like I said, he's already got the fists on there. Each of these figures in the line will come with episode-specific accessories. In the case of Batman, he's kind of the same throughout the series. They chose the episode Mean Seasons, which is where the clip from the beginning of this review came from. And he does use both of these, both of these accessories in that episode. The grapples used throughout, um, especially in the parts where he's like fighting the giant dinosaur. The Batarang is used, if I'm not mistaken, only towards the end of the episode when he goes to disarm Calendar Girl. Ah! It really could have been any episode for Batman, but they just chose Mean Seasons, and he does use those, those two weapons in there, so it kind of makes sense being chosen for that. Let's get him off of this doll stand I've got him on. So we can take a look at the articulation here. We'll start at the feet. His feet are on a um, pivot joint, so it's inserted into the foot, but it pivots side to side, and so it gets sort of an angled movement on the foot. And then it also hinges up and down. Then we've got a swivel where the boot meets the calf. We've got a hinged knee joint. Then we've got a, a hip joint that swivels up and down and then hinges out. And there's sort of a ratcheting mechanism inside there so that it holds poses as it swings out. He's got a waist swivel, he's got ball jointed shoulders, which are slightly hindered when you have the over the shoulder cape, but not that badly. Then he's got a swivel where the elbow meets the bicep, and then it also hinges up and down. And then we've got wrist articulation, and it's on the same on all of these switch out hands. They post in there, and I should have talked about them when I showed the hands, but it kind of, it's sort of tight to get them in and out, so you may want to actually boil some water or heat this up when you're switching out hands. It's got these little notches on the stem so that it kind of grips as it goes in there. And since it posts in and out, you've got a swivel joint right there. You really got to get it in there. And then it also hinges up and down. So there's a lot of wrist movement going on there. The head is actually, when you take this off to switch out the cape, you'll see it's a post with a ball on the end of it. So you do get a little bit of head movement that's sort of up and down and side to side and all around. But it's not a really, really good ball joint because it has to kind of hold that cape down. And I've so noticed some people when they switch out this head that they don't push the head down all the way. And so they're left with this gap there. When you pu push this down, you'll actually feel it notch in one time. And you can push it further and it notches in sort of a second time. So it's kind of a, it feels like it's almost two stages as you're posting the head back on. If you're left with some gap back there, it means you haven't shoved it down all the way. Um, like I said before, the cape is made of this sort of soft rubbery material, um, rubbery plastic, and it's... It's not completely restrictive to the movement, but it is a little more restrictive in the, on the over the shoulder than the swooping to the side version. Um, I think that just about covers everything on the figure itself. Uh, so let's get this guy. Oh, I did want to show you one thing. Um, here he is compared to the original Kenner Hasbro version, which is the, you know, obviously the go to figure of this style up until this line's come out. As you can see, you know, that you can kind of mimic this, this pose with these sort of open hands. And I think I'd do it in the pictures. I can't remember for sure. But you can get pretty close to this old figure using the different hands and capes and things like that. All right, so that, yeah, that covers everything on the figure. So let's gather him on up. We'll take him to the couch and we'll do the review. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another uh, Toy Talk review. As you can see from the opening sequence, we're taking a look at the first figure in DC Collectibles' new Batman animated line. Uh, I don't think we need to do introductions at this point, but just in case, Blaze, Keaton, James. There you go. Um, first of all, 
since we already kind of explained everything about the figure in the opening sequence and the packaging and everything, this is kind of just the part where we'll give our opinions on stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, let's starting with the packaging. Now the packaging on this one, as explained before, is inspired by the new Batman Adventures. Any of the figures that have, from or inspired by Batman the Animated right. Series, have the red Batman the Animated Series background, and these all have the new Batman Adventures background with a blue background and then kind of their bodies in black, and on the back, a black background and their bodies in blue. Right. Um, it's pretty simplistic pla packaging. Yeah. I mean, it's a, just a standard card. There's nothing dedicated about it other than the insert and the sticker on the card to say that it is Batman or whatever character it is. Um, I don't know. I, the packaging to me is not the best. Yeah, but it's just I like it. It's like you're gonna. Exactly. I the packaging. Like you like it? Yeah. The packaging to me, it, it's it's kind of a, a good thing that it's not great mm -hmm. because if it was really cool, like retro Kenner yeah, card backs yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that, I'd want to keep them all carded mm -hmm. too, as opposed to just opening them up. Right. The one gripe I do have is that DC Direct does a lot of packaging where you're able to open it. Don't kick the back of the thing, okay, buddy? Um, where you're able to open it and put the figure back in and take it back out right. and for some reason they went carded with this so there's no putting it back in mm -hmm. once you cut it out that's it right it's it's open it's done but then again it's not the best you know yeah but i, I do like being able to if say i wanted to put stuff away or store stuff and right. i understand the collector mentality too where it's it's you have it's nice to have a choice between the, the, the displaying packaged or open right and if you have something you can open and close it makes it a lot easier to mm -hmm. do that but for me, it makes it an easier decision not to get carded ones, cut them open, and throw away the packaging. Yeah. Um, well, what I want to say one more thing about the packaging. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So the first thing I, I, the package isn't really the first thing I think about, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, as long as the figure's good, the packaging really doesn't matter that much. Is. You don't care about the packaging all that much either, right? All right, so we'll kind of work our way up on the figure. We showed the stand in the opening sequence. It's really neat. Um, oh, I like that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really cool. cool. You, they each have this sort of white base to it and then it's got a clear rod and this clip that slides in. We already have Catwoman and we know that the, the clip is a little different on her. Oh, it is? Yeah. They made it a little bit different. This piece is different on her mm -hmm. uh, figure than it is on Batman's. It doesn't hold him great. Yeah. I've noticed already that there's like little uh, stress line breaks inside the, the clip mm -hmm. that I don't know if that is going to be like that with everybody's or what, but it's not the strongest hold. Mm -hmm. It is really neat they included a stand, though. With these kind of figures where the legs are kind of skinny and their bodies are kind of heavy yeah. up top, they really need stands, mm -hmm. and the little peg stand is not going to cut it. Well, that, I like the kind of go, like, in between the legs. Like, like, the, the, hot, uh -huh. like the Hot Toys bases? Well, it's, it, I think it's just neat that they did something different, that it is a clip base right. as opposed to trying to do pegs, which would not have worked. No. It just shows they were really, really thinking about this line and that people would want to display them, mm -hmm. and they knew that with those little tiny ankles that regular peg hole stands were yeah. not going to work. They just weren't going to cut it. I love that they put these turnarounds yeah, yeah, yeah. Really on the cool. base of every one of them. Isn't that cool? Where they show the turnaround of Batman yeah. from the new Batman Adventures from the model sheets. I think it's just really, kind really of neat. Of like a bat computer type thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a really good idea. Like it's kind of a turnaround of the yeah. character. Yeah. That's 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 a great idea. If I could, I would take the like stick I think out. You can. And you can. You can take the stick out. It comes in pieces. And then I'd maybe glue it to one of uh, like bat. Computers and then. Oh yeah, you would use you would kind of display the stand piece. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a cool idea. But yeah, the, I, I like that they that they have an, a designed a new stand for right. this, and it's not just a stand that they're each one dedicated to each character. I mm -hmm. think that's really really cool. Um, Batman includes two different capes. We'll talk about these capes now. One is kind of swooshing off to the side, and the one I have displayed on him is just the straight down cape. I, like that one. Mm -hmm. yeah, I do too. I, I like the straight down cape, but. I like it too. I, it is neat that they include it too. Yeah, yeah. And these are this figure is so loaded with stuff. And it's so like so cheap. For today's toys, it's it's a very uh, affordable figure yeah. for all the stuff it comes with. I was a bit worried when they showed pictures of this about this over the shoulder yeah. cape and what kind of articulation you'd be able mm -hmm. to have. But it's really not hindered by the over the shoulder one that much. Right. But if for some reason you did want a little bit more movement in the shoulders, you can do the kind of sw swooping behind his mm -hmm. back. Flowing off to the side, look. For adults, it's really not going to matter. No, it's it's going to be posed on the shelf. Um, but still, it is nice to have an action-oriented cape yeah. and more of just standing there cape. For the kids that buy it. And it's mm -hmm. going to, if they keep going across the, they've already said Robin comes with two capes. Right. So I would think that each caped character may come with two capes to do okay. both looks. And that's just a really cool touch, man. Mm -hmm. Well, 
I'm guessing this was going to be that way for Batman. If they didn't move on to Superman, they wouldn't really need to do that because he never draped it over his shoulder. You're right, he didn't. Yeah. But they may have one more that's like blowing in the wind yeah. and one that's more straight mm -hmm. down. Um, so that's really neat. Uh, he comes with a ton of extra hands. It's ridiculous how many hands he comes with. Uh, the figure, I think, ships with fist hands. Yeah, he ships with his fist hands in. But, I mean, I showed you all these in the opening sequence, but it's just a, a very large amount of hands. There's ones to hold the Batarang. There's ones that are um, more just like a, like a standard, just uh, right. open hand. There's these ones that are really, really open, and there's really nothing he comes with that fits in them. So I think they're planning for the future with these op more open grip hands. Yeah. For, say, you know, a bat cycle to grip the handlebars, uh -huh. or carrying other figures' accessories, or things like that. So I think that's what that's for. Uh, if there was a Nightwing ever, it would come with sticks, and I, maybe someday I would put them in the Batman. There thing. you go, man. You can switch all that stuff around. Right. And so that's, that's neat, again, that they're kind of planning ahead with this line, they know they're going to go deep, and so it was like, okay, well, we'll include extra hands with Batman that maybe he doesn't really need right now, but in the future he might need. Mm -hmm. That's really good, yeah. you know, forward thinking, that they know that they're going to need sort of a more open grip hand, mm -hmm. even if they don't need it right now. I'm, s I'm yeah. sorry, can I go back to the cape real quick? Yeah, 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 go ahead. Uh, for a Batman, I wish they'd make, like, maybe the animated series version where it's, like, fully draped down to his legs, kind of, like a fully That would be cool if it was fully over. That would be neat. Be and I don't think that, for the most part, the new Batman Adventures didn't really have that look that yeah, much. It, it really looked more like this. Fighting all. But like yeah, it really action. was over him a lot. Right. And you know, it, this is so, you know, tied in the accessories. They do so many accessories right. in these things that they could do, like Motuk did, accessory packs later on, where they maybe right. make another cape mm -hmm. that you can switch out. Which, which is neat that they can kind of, you can change the look of these so mm -hmm. much. Um, one of the hands is really neat, too, in that it has the, uh, the grapple. It, like sculpted into the hand because mm -hmm. Batman has that thing where he holds the grapple like with a, like almost like a Loving Spock type possible. thing yeah mm -hmm. um, and that's really kind of impossible to make work with an accessory yeah. in a hand so it's sculpted already like that and the grapple piece has the piece that pops off the end of it mm -hmm. it could use a string yeah, I, it would be neat if there was a string I would do that but it kind of ru would ruin the aesthetic you'd have a big hole there in a string mm -hmm. and it wouldn't look like the show um, oh, yeah. so you kind of have to just imagine there's a string there but the two accessories, you saw in the opening sequence, he has the Batarang and a grapple gun that you can set off to the yeah. side that's not permanently stuck in the hand. It, there's not much you can do with this because it can't fit in any of the hand oh, sculpts. is that other grappling gun permanently stuck in the hand? Yeah, it's okay. permanently in I the like, hand. I like that. I do yeah, too. Me too. So you can have one sitting off to the side if you just wanted to have a grapple. And this one also unplugs from the front. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's kind of just there. You can't really plug it in anybody's hand. Um, but again, it's neat that they included it. Yeah. The Batarang is neat. It's nice and skinny, and it fits in that one hand really two? well. Is there two, two Batarangs? Batarangs? No, there's just one. Ah. There's just one Batarang. Well, they have so many accessories. He has so much one. stuff. Yeah, when, I mean, when we finish up all this stuff, we'll just kind of break it down, what all he came with, just to show that this is a crazy amount of stuff for a mass market yeah, figure. But maybe yeah. that hand that had like, little, maybe it put the Batarang in there. You, oh, yeah, you can put the Batarang in the hand. You just can't put the grapple gun in the hand. Yeah. I mean, like the hand that um, in the future it might need, but you can put maybe the battering in there. Oh, yeah, maybe you could. You could. You might be able to do that. As far as articulation goes, we'll talk about the articulation of the sculpt and any kind of paint stuff you should maybe watch out for. As far as articulation goes, I didn't have any problems on my figure. It looks like really good hand. Yeah. It's really well done articulation. Um, it moves really, really well. I, like I didn't it. have any breakage issues. Um, the only thing I will say for an issue with articulation is some of the hands, where they're supposed to have this movement, they're stuck. And I'm going to have to put them in either boiling water or put them in the freezer or something like that to so get them to move. They're supposed to be like this? There's some that have like this movement. I, I don't know if you'd really even need that. Movement. You really don't need it too yeah. much. They switch out easily and they still have the swivel. Right. Like all of them switch out, they pop off and pop on. They um, like hide it really well. Like yeah. The, the, and well, the, the great thing about the articula articulation on this is, in my opinion, is that it's there but it's not changing it to the point where these are supposed to look like maquettes, which are these statues they make for the animation, you know, uh, yeah, people I've, to, I've to see those. them. I haven't seen those. Well, they, they made these maquettes. They're kind of in-house type of thing where they made the cartoon, so they'd have a good look of the figure in 360 degrees for animation and animators to get reference from. And these are kind of based off that look. So all these joints and everything that they have to put in, they don't want it to look obtrusive, where, say, like Marvel Legends, where they have a ball joint at their hips, yeah. it looks like you can see two large... 
um, circular it, areas that, that the legs are plugged into and it breaks it up. And that thing with Mattel, the 60s figures, that ab thing where yeah, it's, where it's, it breaks it up, you know, and there's no ab crunch on him. Right. So that, anything, I like that yeah. yeah. So he's still got a lot of articulation, but you're not losing the look of that animated right. maquette. I think that's really, really cool. The only one that, that maybe kind of breaks it up a little bit is the hip. And that's where it has these kind of, these holes. Yeah. Where the hips have to swing out. But, you know, other than maybe putting some plug in there and then like kind of kind of smoothing it out, which is a lot of work for a twenty dollar figure, I'd much rather have this and still have that opening hip joint where you can get a lot of movement than having that that ball and oh, socket yeah, thing yeah, there because yeah. that wouldn't look like the animation at that point. Right. It would look very weird. It wouldn't be like kind of streamlined. So for me, the holes are not that bad. A lot of people are complaining about the holes and they don't like them, but I really don't mind them that much. I don't think they're that bad, and I'd rather have this kind of joint. Then be stuck with a Marvel Legends style I, right. ball I would and just socket. Imagine well, um, there was like um, not holes in there. Just yeah, just pretend they're not there. That's an easy way of doing it. Uh, uh, go ahead. I've looked at some other DC Direct figures. It seems like they're kind of doing some of the best work on hiding joints and stuff. Yeah, there there is some really good companies out there for hiding joints and stuff. But I just think that the the trying to get to keep that that maquette look. This is really kind of the only things you could do. Right. And the, the prototypes didn't have these holes. They were hidden. And I, I think that maybe in future ways, maybe they'll find a way to, to hide these holes. And that would be great. Right. But for now, it's not too detrimental to me. Plus, I'm, I mean, I know you're not complaining, but I'm not going to complain about Batman animated figures. Exactly. I'm so excited to have this right. line that a little thing like the holes in the thighs, I'm not going to let it keep me from enjoying this line. Because most companies aren't doing like a, what is it, how old is this now? It came out in 1992. This design's from 1997. Right, but I'm saying like the whole show in general. like, like Well, 1992 would be... Um, 22 years ago okay, now. And most companies aren't going to go back and do like toys from 22 years ago. And that they're going so deep right off the bat. They're, right. This is really going to be a big line. Yeah. And they've already got four waves slatted out and yeah, the, the Roxy really cool. rocket with the accessory and stuff. So yeah, anyway, so that, that articulation is not that big of a deal to me. Um, we've gotten so accustomed to like the peg holes beside the knees yeah. that we don't even see that anymore. Or the ones beside the elbow. So that's not a big deal to anybody. And there's none on these elbows. Mm -hmm. Um, that to me it's just like another point of articulation that you're just going to have to get used to. Right. Um, as far as the rest of the joints go, I have no problem. They all work really right. well. I love the way the ankles work. They kind of swivel, right. uh, they pivot, and they move, and you're but, able to get some really cool poses out of them. But not so much to where it's going to like break down or get loose or anything like that. Yeah. Well, I, I can't uh, promise that it's not going to get loose over time. I can't say anything time, about that. Like immediately, like you do, and it's going to be like all out of... Yeah, I don't think... it's Everything still feels really tight after taking pictures of him. Right. I will say this, that a lot of people have breakage on their ankles. Okay. And you just got to be really careful when you're moving all these joints for the first time that there may be some issues. So you may want to either, you know, heat it up with a hair dryer before you move it, maybe put it in the freezer for a bit so the, pla the plastic kind of expands and breaks that, that paint out. Just be really careful when you're moving all the joints for the first time that you're you're not accidentally breaking something because right. the ankles were an issue for a lot of people I thankfully had no problems whatsoever mine is great all the joints are perfect yeah. um, but again no not everybody's like that so just be really really careful as far as paint work goes it's uh, you know trying to find one has been a pr issue for a lot of people that has really good clean paint mine's great I, yeah but uh, you know I, I have seen some pictures where the the, the painting on the symbols off or the paint on his mouth is off, or something like that. But that's a problem across every toy line. There's all, like, I'm not going to call any toy lines out, but there's definitely some that have big problems with Big, that. big issues on paint. So this isn't anything new. This is a mass market. Even though it's comic shops, it's still kind of a mass market toy line. Yeah, you can drive out, go to a You can just go to a comic shop and, shop and pick up one. So, you know, you, sometimes you are going to have to look for a good one. The nice thing is, is that I love supporting local comic shops. Yeah. So I think it's kind of cool that you really should go to a store and buy these. Right. Some people don't have that luxury, and that sucks. But if you can, just go to your local comic shop and order these, or look at them on the shelf and pick out your best one. And don't, you know, when we're buying online, we have no choice. Like with Motuk, we didn't get a choice as to which figure we could pick out. It's all online. It was all online. You know, that's, so this is neat. This is actually in a shop, and you're able to choose out the best paint job that you want. I think that's great. Because on the line, there, yeah. there would only be, like, one. Exactly. There's just a picture, and then yeah. you just get whatever you get in the mail. Yeah, and you couldn't just pick which one you want. To exactly. Picture, you can't pick out the best one. Yeah, like, take their best one, take a picture of it, and then sell it. And they're all they just have. normal. Yeah. So, I, I think, and the sculpt. The sculpt is the last thing we should talk it's, about. 
In my opinion, I love it. I, I think, think it's, it's perfect. perfect. Me too. I, I think yeah. it's absolutely perfect. I think it's it's really a good. great representation of the new Batman Adventures Batman. Yeah. This, for Get me, on. yeah, I, I don't... As much as I love the old Kenner stuff, we all yeah, love the old well, Kenner yeah, stuff. Have, we all think they're great. Me and Ken have like every character on Those are great set. play with toys, too. Yeah. These are great sit on a shelf and look like the character. I don't have the maquettes, right. the statues and things like that. And for me, I'm thinking about all of this line. I want to have them all displayed, just standing there. Yeah, it's going to look, look like so it. awesome. But yeah. like you said, it's for the like it can display. But for like younger kids who do want to play with them, yeah. they can still be played with. They can, but you got to be really careful. Because yeah. I mean, just, we were well, talking about that breakage rack. issue. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they're not they're not banging around. The Kenner toys will take a beating. Yeah, these definitely. won't take a beating. And if if you feel like if you you want to take off the arm and you feel like it's gonna break, you should just ask your parents. That's to exactly it, it yeah. man. That that's what we're here for. So if you need help with switching out hands or switching out the cape or something like that, you come to me and I'll help you switch them. That's one thing on the switching out the cape. The head was a little tough to pop off. That's another part that you might want to heat it up first before you switch out capes. Um, so overall. Super excited. Yeah. I think that it's yes. a great figure. I think we all agree that it's a yeah. great, great yeah. Batman yeah. figure. And I can't wait for the 92 design. Oh my gosh, out. me too, dude. Yes. The yellow. I know you like this design better. Like no, I don't. I don't. No, like I meant like the black bat. I do yellow. like a black bat, but the 92 Batman is my favorite design. Mm -hmm. I really like this design. I even have this Batman symbol on my leg. This mm -hmm. is the one I have tattooed on my leg. Well, uh, do? I don't know why, but whenever I think of it, I think of a yellow oval. Whenever I think of Batman, so that I like the yellow oval. Yeah, I, better. So. I still love this design. Right. A lot of people don't like the 1997 designs. I like them both. I think they're both great. It's just shown that time has passed. Like, the suit looks darker than it did yeah. before. And his attitude changed yeah, in the 97 definitely. series. He was a much kind of harsher, darker character as yeah. it went along. He wasn't it's not quite as happy. It's not super, like, no. campy in the old, other No, not at all. But it, it just felt like he was a little bit more nice. Easier and he got really kind of meaner as the 97 series went on. But there were some of the best episodes in the new Batman Adventures designs. So Over I'm the happy. Edge. Over the Edge is great. That's the best episode. Um, you know, we should talk a little bit. This is based on the episode. Go ahead, buddy. I like the one. Is is this the Batman animated? Yeah. I like the one that it's Christmas. Oh, yeah, Christmas is the Joker. Yeah. Or the yeah. Batman well, this one's New Batman Adventures. Oh, there is a. There's the Holiday yeah, Nights. Yeah, Holiday Nights. Yeah. Is that the one you're talking no, about? No, he's talking about Adventure Christmas Village? with the Joker. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. Man, imagine like holiday themed packs. We're jumping all over the place. Yeah. Um, well, it's kind of hard to with all the excitement. Oh, I know. I'm so excited about if, this line. If Joker, the one Christmas with Joker, yeah. it would probably come with the Christmas tree. It could yeah. come with the Christmas tree. But each one, like you're just saying this, each one is, you know, from this episode. Like, there's right. a little mini poster that which comes. I love that. that they choose yeah. a specific episode. Exactly. Match For this one, it's Mean Seasons, which is the episode with Calendar Girl. Which they okay. could have picked any episode for Batman Animated, it wouldn't have mattered. So I kind of felt like they chose Mean Seasons because it's like, maybe they won't get to Calendar Girl for quite a while, so base him on Mean Seasons and save other episodes so that each character's kind of coming from one episode. You well, know what I mean? That's some pretty good animation in it. Oh, they all had great animation. Right. Um, and he b used both of those accessories as I showed in the opening sequence right. in that episode, which was cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I'm kind of okay with the fact that they did New Batman Adventures ba Batman before Batman Animated Batman. Yeah. We're getting him in the fourth wave. But it gets me, I'm super excited about the line, and I'm still like super, super excited about a fourth wave coming. Well, so my excitement's going to stretch um, over a long time. I oh, Hang go on. first. Go um, is the fourth season going to have Robin or what's the The fourth wave? Have? Yeah. The second wave has Robin. Oh. Yeah. That's going to not take a while. No, it's not. That's, and they're flip-flopping the waves. So in the first wave... Sorry this is so long, but we're so excited about this line. We haven't had a line where all three of us since are Matt. super excited since Motu Classics. Yeah. But now we're like, we're all like, oh, I can't wait to see what else yeah. they do. Yeah. Um, so the first wave has three new Batman adventures, and then the female characters from Batman Animated. The second wave, three Batman Animated, the female characters from the right. new Batman adventures. Third wave, three new Batman adventures, the fourth characters from Batman Animated series. And then the fourth wave, three male characters from Batman Animated. That the female character is the one I actually was able to Roxy predict. Rocket. No, Roxy Rocket's going to be, a, I think, a deluxe or something. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I actually guessed the fourth wave entirely based on that that pattern. Did I did. I posted it online. Right. I got the whole wave right. And it was nice. Batman Animated, Riddler, uh, Penguin, and then the new Batman Adventures Batgirl. That's, That's the fourth awesome. wave. Uh, okay, so can't get over this line. Yeah. Super excited about it. For me, some of the best figures going nowadays value-wise. They're only most comic shops. If you if you're facing a good comic shop, like our shop, right, only yes. charges twenty bucks a piece for these. Yeah. That's great. These yeah. are great figures at twenty bucks, especially when you don't have to pay shipping. You can just go to a store and you can buy them. If you don't have the luxury of a comic shop, there'll be a link in the info section where you can order these online. Uh, 
But really, uh, support your local comic shop. I don't want to really do online. Yeah, you'd rather buy it. Because uh, I like to pick the one that's the best. And you like just going and buying a toy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I was what I was gonna say before we like, can we talk about the one thing? Uh well give me a minute. If that's you have cool. anything else to say. Uh, I, well I I mean we're still gonna be covering the rest of this first wave. We've got Batman right now, we've got Catwoman right now. Freeze and Two Face, both from the new Batman Adventures, have not shipped yet. We should have those soon. But hopefully, we'll have this Batman and the Catwoman videos up really, really quick. I have together. what I was going to say. Yeah. Man. You lose it again? again? Well, maybe I'll remember okay, for the okay. Catwoman. Okay. Now I have it. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of glad that they put Batman animated in the fourth wave because they're like building it up to that one figure that I'm going to be so excited Dude, about. Dude, everybody's so excited about that figure. Yeah. I told Bob at the comic shop that he's going to need a ton of that figure yeah. because it's going to sell so well. Even if you only get one figure in this line, that's, That's the, the figure, figure everybody's going to get. That's that the one. maybe an animated Joker. And as, as great as this is, as awesome as this figure is, right. and as loaded down as he is with stuff, I can't wait to see what they do oh, with Batman. Definitely. You yeah, know, with I, a, a, a 1992 I would, Batman. I would love it if they did that first appearance Batman from the Robin's Reckoning. Oh, I'd, like, we should have a whole list of things we'd like to we see. Really, well, we should really make up one. There was one. that action features There was the action episode, features where we did that, but now we know more figures, and I'd like right. to hear what you guys want right. to do, too. All right, so we're going to sign off on this um, one. I know we rambled for a while. Oh, go ahead, buddy. Um, the first one I would ever get was the Batman. Yeah. Because he's the... You get Batman first. He's the yeah. cool. That's right. you got to get Batman first. He's the coolest one. No doubt. No doubt. Batman is the, always the first character to get. Yes. All right, so we're going to sign off on this one. Uh, hit the info section if you want to check out a gallery of this figure. Or, you know, like I said, there'll be a link to order the figure online if you decide you want to order a figure online. But again, say it one last time. Please support your local comic shop. Those guys can use your money. Um, I'd love to see uh, comic shops keep, you know, existing and not go away because of not having customers. Uh, all you have to do is uh, go in and ask them to order one. If, thing, yeah, right? if they don't have, yeah, all you have to do is go in. If you've never gone in there before, I mean, if you don't go in there and and you don't see them, all you have to do is just ask. Just say, hey, can you order these for me? And most comic shops will be more than happy to order you something right. and bring it into their shop for you because they want you to come into their shop. Right. Yeah. Um, um, anything else? Um, <laughs> it's so long. Is, is Nightwing going to be in this episode? They haven't shown him yet, but I'm, I'm positive he's coming. Yeah, and he's actually, I would get him yeah. first because he's my favorite. I know he's your favorite. And the Dick Grayson Robins in the but, next wave, but, so you definitely want him. Yeah, but... I'll, I would have to do Batman first because he's the first one. Well, you're going to have to because Nightwing's not out yet. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Man, this episode's gone so long, but there's so much to say about these toys. I know, dude. Yeah. Well, wait, we're going to do Catwoman. Right, we yeah, can save yeah, some yeah, for that yeah, one. Yeah. So we're going to sign on this one, and we'll do Catwoman. Yeah. So we'll see you guys next time. Okay.